My name is Dr. Kasim Bashir. This is a public education video on brain aneurysms. A brain aneurysm, also called a cerebral aneurysm or intracranial aneurysm, is a spot of weakness of a brain artery. Because the artery wall is weakened where the aneurysm is, there is a risk that it will rupture. Aneurysm risk of rupture depends on its size. Larger the aneurysm tends to bleed more commonly, but in reality it appears smaller aneurysms can also be as detrimental. Once they rupture, they can cause a catastrophic and fatal rise in brain pressure. Hence, such hemorrhagic strokes are considered as acute neurological emergencies and warrant prompt diagnosis and treatment. They can be diagnosed using CT angiography, but digital subtraction angiography in short DSA remains the gold standard diagnostic modality. Once diagnosed, they should be treated emergently to achieve a good long-term long neurological outcome. Surgical repair is one way of treating them that involves removing the piece of skull to explore the aneurysm. The neurosurgeon then places a metallic clip at the aneurysm neck to prevent blood flow into the aneurysm sac and closes the skull. Endovascular treatment is a minimally invasive procedure and is performed from within the blood vessel. A catheter is threaded through a blood vessel in the groin up through the body to treat the brain aneurysm. One procedure called coiling fills the aneurysm sac with thin wire-like material to prevent its rupture. Coiling can at times be combined with a stent placement, a specially designed flow diverter covered stent or a web device placement and also by temporarily placing a balloon across the aneurysm neck to configure the coils within the aneurysm sac. Like neurosurgical clipping, coiling completely closes off the aneurysm without undergoing open surgery. The following is a case of a young, healthy 24-year-old woman with acute left-sided brain hemorrhage and right-sided body weakness and speech difficulty. The hemorrhage as seen on the CT extended into the deeper parts of the brain. After immediate stabilization in the neuro ICU, she underwent brain DSA angiography that revealed a left-sided brain aneurysm. Based on the aneurysm sac and its location, balloon-assisted coiling was considered the most suitable treatment option for this patient. Post-coiling, CT brain showed no procedural complications. She was discharged home after additional three days of observation and physiotherapy. At discharge, her right-sided weakness had considerably improved and she has started to walk and verbalize. Brain aneurysm-induced hemorrhagic strokes are acute neurological emergencies and patients should seek immediate treatment by concerned qualified specialists to prevent mortality and long-term disabilities. Neuroendovascular treatment options are minimally invasive and durable treatment modalities.